My name is Kay Saito Shafi, and I play the flute. I joined the Peninsula Symphony Orchestra last year in 2019. Today we're going to be talking about three instruments from the flute family. There are actually many other instruments in the Western flute family, including instruments like the double contrabass flute, which has over 20 feet of tubing that is all folded up so it stands 8 feet tall. But today we're going to be talking about the C flute, the piccolo, and the alto flute, because generally speaking, these are the only three types of flutes you'll ever see in an orchestra. The first instrument we'll look at is the standard C flute, or the Western concert flute. Uh, in an orchestral context, this is most certainly what you think of when you picture a flute. Most modern flutes, including mine, are made out of metal, as you can see, but the flute and all of its siblings are actually part of the woodwind family, along with instruments like the oboe, the clarinet, and the bassoon. This one, as many of you know, is a piccolo. This particular instrument is made out of wood, but I personally play it on a plastic piccolo until pretty recently. The piccolo is roughly half the size of a standard C flute, which means it sounds an octave higher, and it adds sparkle and brilliance to the overall sound of the orchestra. And this is an alto flute quite a bit bigger than the standard C flute. The alto flute is pitched in G, lower than the C flute, and a lot lower than the piccolo. Um, you don't see it too often in orchestral settings, but you'll hear it pretty prominently in scores by Stravinsky and Ravel. some melodies on these three instruments so you could get a better idea of the range and the tone color of each one. I'm going to be playing five different melodies and if you'd like you can follow along and try to guess the name of each work as well as who wrote it. pastoral section of the William Tell Overture by Rossini. You might recognize it from cartoons where it's often used to signify daybreak. Bolero by Ravel. It's based on the Spanish dance called the Bolero. It was actually originally composed as a ballet, even though it's rarely seen that way now. later used this music in 1921 to set a poem to music, and that later became the British patriotic hymn, I Vow to Be My Country. to the Sherman Brothers' Mary Poppins. It was a crowded field that year. I'm sure you recognize 
recognize that one as Princess Leia's leitmotif, first introduced in Star Wars A New Hope. Um, leitmotifs are most associated with Wagner's operas, but John Williams used them a lot in his Star Wars scores. Thanks so much for watching. Please take good care of yourselves and stay very safe and very healthy. I hope to see you at a Peninsula Symphony concert very soon. I'll see you later.